Well, we came to uh, Grandma and Grandpa's farm today because today is the last day that they plan on doing apple harvesting and they've got a cider press. How cool is that? So we're going to check it out. Um, Rebecca, Jacob and I, and John sort of, were picking apples and a big apple fell on Rebecca's head and broke the crap out of her glasses. For the last 20 minutes I've been fixing the glasses, but as you can see her glasses are better. We fixed them. Well, the apples aren't pretty, but mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, say they taste really good. A lot of yellow jackets everywhere. These red ones have kind of thick skin. Hey, John, do you want an apple? Try that. You want an apple? Nope, not, huh? Okay. We've already filled up one over there. Oh, that's so cool. Get your work out. So what do you grind the apples with first? Oh, this right here. Yep. Okay, I'm going to open it up. We'll... You can't get any more out of it, then what do you do with them? I'll put it in the pot. Yeah, Dad, are you going to get some? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? I can't wait. I think thinking about this is what Scott and your dad through work the last couple of days. Johnny. So here's a here's the first batch today. No, this is the second pressing, so we won't get nearly so much. Right. Yeah, get a little bit. Oh, there's a bee in it. That's a yellow jacket. Mm. Good. That's really good. Here, Johnny. Have some juice. You want, you want some juice? Yeah. Okay. You drink. You hold it. How is it? Okay. So while some of us, well, I'm just tasting and recording, but earlier, before Rebecca's glasses broke, John, Rebecca, Jacob, and I were over there picking apples. See if I can zoom in. There is the little orchard that's producing all the apples. And Jacob's over there still picking away. So there's the leftover pulp, pressed twice. And it's gonna come over back where their vegetable garden is. Grandpa set up a couple of uh, compost heaps. All the rocks for these rock walls were pulled out of the hillside. All right, here we go. Yeah, so there it is. There's Jabe coming back with a bushel of apples. That goes down in the bucket. <clears throat> It'll overlap quite a bit. So you can fold it down over the Dad, are you gonna crank? Sure, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. They want me to? They want to watch. Uh -huh. I don't keep it going steadily, I'll tell you. Good. You need me to do it, Mom? I don't mind it. We got together time. Here, hold that a second. John's trying to crank it. Yeah, well, give him my luck tonight. He is cranking it. It's just fine. He is cranky. He is, he is. Yes, sometimes he is. Nice. <laughs> Good 
Here, why don't you just get some out of one of those jugs? Are you going to try the bigger one soon? I need it. Okay, all done with the pressing for today. I'm going to hand the camera off to Angie though. I don't know if we have been a help or a hindrance today, but we sure have had fun. I spent my afternoon cutting up the apples and now I've just been wandering with John around the farm here. He wants to go for a hike. I have to keep close attention to him because there's a busy road. I don't know if you can see it right behind me. And there's also a pond the opposite direction. But he's got the exploring bug in him and I think he's wanted to go hike up through all these hills. So I don't know if we will do that or not, but I think we're gonna get ready to have dinner. This guy is pretty fearless. He's decided to climb up the ladder and pick some apples off the tree. I don't know whether I should let him or not. You want some help? I'm a little bit worried. If he's like this when he's two, how adventurous is he gonna be when he's five? When I was little growing up, my grandpa, my grandpa had a farm and he always had a tractor. His tractor was yellow, well at least one of them that I remember. And I used to love to go on tractor rides. So John's gonna get up on his grandpa's tractor it's a red one, not a yellow one. Oh, what do you think? You need some keys? <laughs> 